Hey everyone, Dickie the Dude here with another video. This time I'm going to show you my rail system. It's gotten pretty complex over time and I think the best way to show you is, well, to show you. Uh... <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Actually, this right here is my rail system. Getting more intricate as it goes on, working on some columns, working on some little pit stops, going to be doing some extra connectors. This little bit right here is more or less a toy for my kid. Let's speed over here to one of the columns real quick. As you can see, I put it together with the uh, redstone lamps, copper, I used uh, nethrite blocks, iron. It really wanted to be able to put together something that has a lot of texture and a lot of different color value, shows well at night. And this right here is the beginning of the track. I put together a, a system here that's a hopper, a dispenser, and as you can see, don't currently have it loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and have to place a cart in the track here so I can show you. Normally, though, when you crash into that cactus at the end, it drops down into the hopper. That way, when you press the button, it's ready to go. Get a nice little view of the city. Go up uh, through the clouds here. And we're going to take a quick stop right here. Uh, apparently I didn't change that back when I was working on the video earlier. So this right here, stop number one. I, I haven't quite come up with a name yet, but this is an overly complex pushing machine, more or less. It's uh, a series of slime pistons. As you can see, it, it didn't quite work there, so let's try this again. Woohoo! My kid's gonna love this. I, I showed it to him last time and quite have it finished, but this time he's able to bounce up and out. So, new little bridge system I set up. We'll go over that next time. But this is gonna be the full run of the track. Sorry for the speed ups and everything. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, I don't take up too too much of your time because this is a seven and a half minute track maybe one of these days i'll i'll post a a full video of it as you can see the uh or a full length video sorry uh, but as you can see it worked that time we crashed into the cactus dropped into the hopper and uh now we're getting up to this platform here this platform is going to be the depot for all the different rail carts and of of course, I didn't switch that one around either. Let's go grab that. So this right here is going to have a variety of different rail systems and switches so I can go off to different cities and different biomes. I'm going to have a dock here for what I call spell jammers. So I used to play D&D &D and that's what we called them back in the day, but flying ships. This one's modeled off to, uh, after a, a traditional spell jammer. I think I want to do some... Uh, sci-fi looking ones i want to do some crazy looking ones and i really would like to invite some other people here to build their own so outside of that platform or down beneath it i, I plan on building a sky city at some point you'll actually see a section here that's going to have a a little um a jog to the track where you're going down levels out and i'll connect a lower level there each one of these redstone blocks will get embedded in the track eventually. I started doing that recently. Didn't start doing it when I first started this track. So trying to play catch up with some of the modifications I've done. This little feature right here, if you ever do a track going up this high, run it through the clouds. It's really fun. This is part of where I want to put like the streets in the city, uh, the, the sky city. So you actually have to walk through the clouds. It'll always be changing. This down here goes over a variety of the different islands. I'm going to speed through this because this section gets pretty long. I haven't added to this yet, but as I add to it, have more flavor. And uh, I'll wind up, like I said, re-recording this with a full-length video. And hopefully have a little bit more to show you on the way. I was going to try and play a, uh, a tour guide, so to speak, during this part, but 
I'd rather just get you through to the part that I've actually really worked on here. Sorry if you get a little spazzed out. Look away from the screen if you want. Like I said, tour guide was going to look around and start pointing at things. Here's the fun part. So this took quite a while. The center of this tunnel is all, uh, it was dirt that I wound up digging out. Um, I, I built it as the smooth stone rail, then covered it in dirt, and then went back, bordered the whole thing in glass, threw the lights in, and then cleared all the dirt out of it. My motivation for this particular sex section of the ocean is there's a boat right here, and I don't hardly look at it in the shot, unfortunately. I do go back to it at a, at, at a point. I, I take a little clip at the end. But that sunken ship is the first little feature, and then as you come over here, as you can see, you have one of the ocean monuments. I love that the guardians hang around, and uh, every once in a while you'll see them zapping octopi. Unfortunately, didn't catch one in this video, but I didn't want to hang around too, too long. Uh, the feature on this is more about the track. As you can see, there they are. It's a big guy. I got one of the little ones right up in there. Plenty of kelp. Plenty of dolphins. Lots of different ocean life. I think at some point I'm going to go through, put sea lanterns. Uh, that way we can see a little bit of what's going on out there. Every once in a while you catch glowing eyes from some sort of drown and uh, I haven't seen really any glowing octopi along the route surprisingly but as we get to the end here you'll notice there's a bit of a shelf up there and that's because we're coming out with the ice spikes now the base that I built before that that larger city there was actually in this not the ice spikes themselves, but it was in the snow biome. And it was bordered by these ice spikes. Now my stepson, he's been playing for a long time. He said he's never seen ice spikes nearly as big as these ones. And I don't mean the height of it, but the size of the biome. It's over two maps at this point, and I still haven't actually reached the bottom of it through exploring. I'm starting to go in the opposite direction. But one of these days, I'll check out the rest of those ice spikes. Coming up on the snow city, the, the snow fort, and right in front of us is the wizard's tower. As you can see, I haven't done a cart reclaimer yet, but little uh, wizard's tower here. Give you a little flyover. I'm not going to do a whole overview of the city right now, but I will do a, a walkthrough at some point. I'll clear the snow off for sure. So this right here is that sunken ship. As you can see, I, I went up and over and around. Really wanted to be able to show it. You do see it pretty well when you're actually looking at it in the track. Right there, over not too far away, is that ocean monument. And this is just... I, I needed to show you guys a night flyover of the, the glowing sections of this track. The, the columns at night are beautiful. All that copper, all that the yellow glass, everything just illuminates. And uh, I'll give you a little fly over the city. Oh, catch that little phantom flying up there. I think I see him again here in just a second. But as you can see, I've only got two of these columns up so far. The third one has the main structure up but I will be continuing that down the track. I, I try to add a variety of different lights throughout all of my builds, so it, it's really rich when you're looking at it from afar, especially when I've got people coming in to look at it in creative mode. That's all for now. If you like my video and like to see more of my tutorials and walkthroughs, please subscribe to my channel.